to my uh, Candleland theme front yard. So there's our baby dog. Um, it's very dark because it's been raining. So here's my smaller peppermint uh, lollipops that I made from pool noodles from Dollar Tree. Um, okay, I have to fix that later. And the ones at the bottom are yard steaks from Dollar Tree as well. And here are some more lollipops and bigger uh, peppermints. So they are bigger as compared to the ones there. And also big uh, fake gift boxes that I made from the cheapest satin fabric and also uh, ribbons from Dollar Tree and I also used uh, crafting sticks that I got from Amazon this one right here I got this from Amazon I didn't really make this although I had to assemble it so it's super cheap I think like less than $15 and then some more large peppermints and lollipops and also candy canes I wasn't able to make a DIY tutorial video for this because I was really in a rush already and I was so busy because of Thanksgiving and this is um, fake giant cotton candy um, I made a tutorial video of that and also this one and this and this they all have separate tutorial videos if y'all want to check out my YouTube page they're all there and another gift box here so that's for the front yard i'm still thinking if i should put lights in front of it so they will be seen more from the road at night so but i'll probably do that tomorrow and then more smaller um peppermints here and lollipops and uh, why are you facing that way all right and here is our front door i also made this one from dollar tree items i have a separate tutorial for that please check out my youtube video and also a christmas wreath that i also made from scratch from dollar tree items so 90 percent of everything you see here are made from dollar tree items and this is our front yard at night. Isn't it the most magical time of the year? I wish I had more lights, but I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. let's move to what I did in our um, entryway table so normally we have our picture frames and other uh, regular decorations here but I took them all out except for that frame in the middle saying uh, simply blessed and then replace it by Christmas decorations um, about 80 to 90 percent of everything you see here are from Dollar Tree and then probably 10 to 20 percent are from Dollar General but uh, the ones I got from Dollar General are also um, items that are one to three dollars so let's start with uh, what we got here um, by the way all the lights that you can see here are fairy lights they are 12 string of fairy lights that I got from Amazon for $12 so it's like $1 each and I already used them during the Halloween so I'm just basically reusing them it's so worth it to have it I recommend you guys get that as well and you can use it for so many uh, decorations that you're gonna make so a lot of them looks dull like this uh, nativity right here in the church uh, back there and this one I just put a uh, the lights on them and uh, they instantly look a lot better so anyway let's start i have here the nativity i really love this and this is so important to me because for me christmas is all about celebrating uh jesus birth and without this i feel like 
um, you know, Christmas is just um, about the cute things. But I don't want it to just be cute things. I want it to be about Jesus as well. So I didn't, uh, I made it uh, sure that I have the nativity here and another one back there. But anyway, so yeah, I got that from Dollar General, like I guess two or three dollars and just put the lights on. This one is from Dollar Tree, like two pieces is for one dollar. And this one, I just made this. So I got the steel cone from Dollar Tree and the glittery balls from Dollar Tree as well like a hundred pieces of balls probably is just for one dollar and I just wrap it around with uh, the fairy lights and this one is like a serving plate but I put a stand behind using a crafting stick to make it look like you know it's a decorative item instead of it being used as a frame then I have here some glittery cathedral, all for one dollar each. And then these uh, mini pine cones I got from Dollar General, I guess. Uh, I, I think four pieces is for one dollar, as well as these uh, mini items that I got here. So I have snowman, Santa, and uh, Mrs. Santa. And uh, this... Uh, railroad and trains they're like two sets that i attached together i think they're one or two dollars per set so again this one we already have this so i didn't take that out and this one on top i also updated that with the lights and this one i think it's just two dollars as well and uh, finally um i put here a candy bar because i I don't know I just think it's cute and fun to have it and uh, I kept uh, telling my husband I'll probably eat one per day but then um, I'm gonna finish it up before Christmas so I'll just probably leave it at that I was even thinking putting a big jar for a marshmallow and maybe popcorn but then we don't have kids and nobody's really gonna eat it and I don't want to waste a lot of you know food at least with the candies i can you know just eat them later on even after christmas they are not gonna be bad okay so all candies and chocolates are from dollar general anywhere from one to three dollars per pack so i have santa i have gold coins regular christmas colors chocolate santa again snowman and different colors of candy canes and the one at the back is also a plate a serving plate but again I just put a stand at the back using crafting sticks that I got from Amazon so that it will stand and uh, would look like a decoration here at the bottom uh, I have the Christmas stockings uh, they're very simple just the cheap ones just for the heck of it and um, here at the bottom uh, the bottom is just more plain than the top tier uh, because I want this to be more focused on the nativity. Am I even pronouncing it right? Uh, let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. So I love this so much. Uh, we have this since last year and I'm glad that the light wasn't, uh, it is still working and he really told my husband whenever we were shopping last year for Christmas decorations that uh, we need to have the nativity because it's the most important uh, thing to me as a Catholic. And then I got this, uh, some real uh, plant and another plant right there and I just put string lights so they will look more fun. And because there's a Santa on the other side, I have to buy another Santa from Dollar General and this is probably the most expensive one I got here, um, which is $8, just so they will look, you know, balance and i didn't have a hay it's supposed to be a hay so i just used this um blanket so that it will look more of like a hay and that's the reason why i really cannot uh decorate it because i feel like the nativity is more of like hay and uh, you know like a field kind of scenery and not snow so it's really hard for me to incorporate snow um, items and the decorations here. 
So I just made it simple like that and just put my live plants uh, over there at the back. This is a brighter version because I turned the lights off my previous uh, video. So just to show you all guys the colors and the glitters. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys got some good uh, ideas on what you can do for your entryway uh, tables. And I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. What's your suggestions or what have you done with yours? And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. Thank you. Bye.